Hello, welcome to Infinity Prep. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to solve hard SAT math problems easily with some tips and tricks. So let's start with question 12. And question 12 is asking us which of the following is equivalent to the expression above for x is greater than 0. Now, this may look a little tricky at first, but really all we have to do is get matching denominators to solve this. And as we can see in all the answer choices, the denominator is 2x plus 1, as well as in the question. So we'll make uh, the denominator in our, uh, while we solve this, 2x plus 1. So all we have to do to get 2x plus 1 uh, over here as the denominator is we have to multiply it up top as well. Because this way, I mean, they just cancel out. So really, it's just, we're just left with 5, but it's just a different way of writing 5. So all we have to do is multiply out 2x plus 1 on top and the bottom, and we get 1 over 2x plus 1 plus, and then first we'll multiply out the 5, 10x, and then to the 1, and we get plus 5 over 2x plus 1. Now all we have to do is combine the like terms over here, and we're left with 10x plus 6 over 2x plus 1. And that will be our final answer, which lines up with answer choice D, and that's going to be your answer. Okay, so now let's go on to this question, number 18. And number 18 is asking, or saying, or rather, the figure above shows the complete graph of the function f in the xy plane. The function g not shown is defined by g of x is equal to f of x plus 6. What is the maximum value of the function g? Okay, so really all we have to do to get this one is... We have to understand that if g of x is f of x plus 6, then we know that it's going to be the same as f of x, except it's going to be moved up 6. So all we really have to do is we know the maximum value here is going to be 2, right? Because that's the point at which um, the y value is the greatest. So all we have to do is move that up 6, and that's going to give us the maximum value of g. So if we move it up 6, really it's just 2 plus 6, and we're left with 8. So the maximum value of function g is going to be 8. That's our final answer. Okay, so now let's go on to number 10. And number 10 states that in the equation above, a, b, c, and d are constants. And if the equation has roots negative 1, negative 3, and 5, which of the following is a factor of the equation above? Now, to do this, all we really have to do is notice that it's given us the roots, which are negative 1, negative 3, and 5, and it's given us four answer choices. So all we have to do to find which one of these is the roots is, well, they've already given us the roots, so all we have to do is solve for x and by setting it equal to 0, and that will give us the roots and the answer choices. So that might sound a little confusing, but I'll explain here in a bit. So all we have to do is set this equal to 0 and solve for x. So if x minus 1 equals 0, then we know that x is equal to 1, because we're just adding 1 to both sides to isolate x. And since x equals 1 is not a root, we know it can't be a. So we'll do the same thing with b. And here we get x is equal to negative 1, which is a root. So we, we, it could be that. And we'll go to this one, x minus 3. x is equal to 3 after we solve, which isn't a root. And x plus 5 is going to be equal to x equals negative 5, which again isn't a root. So we know that b is going to be our answer. And that's all we have to do to solve this one. Okay, so that's the end of this video, and if you guys liked it, please leave a like. If you do need additional help, we have a fiber page, and I'll link that down below. And if you guys want to keep seeing more videos like this one, just comment down below and we'll make that happen. But if you'd rather see the tips and tricks videos that we've done previously, then go ahead and comment that, and we'll revert back to those videos. Have a great day.